Good afternoon, everyone. I am two for two this week. How's everybody doing? Um, I am in my kitchen today, going between the kitchen and the back room, and I'm doing a little bit of sewing, um, getting the side gig going to the side hustle. If you can see behind me, one of the shirts that is in my KM Designs line, um, I'm creating a graphic t-shirt line along with some baby items and a few totes and I'm going to be working on some pet coats. Um, I wanted to come on and I wanted to do this video on seasons and blessings. Uh, the things that come into your life at the right time when you don't expect it. The things that you pray for that you're not getting. There's a reason. There is a reason why, why you are not getting what you are praying for. And for all of you who do not know who I am, I am Kitrin Marie. I am a writer, I am an artist, I am a speaker, I am a photographer, um, and I am a life and a business coach. I show people how they can have a more meaningful life. I show people how they can step outside of who they are to become who they are supposed to be. We have God-given gifts and talents and it is just a crying shame the people who are born with a natural ability to do something that they choose not to utilize it to their best benefit um, I was fortunate I grew up in a household where my grandmother and my aunts they cooked uh, my grandma was almost a professional seamstress. She did it on a part-time basis. She could have went full-blown professional, but she was too busy taking care of her three girls. And then by the time my mom had passed away, she was busy taking care of me and my sister, showing us, bringing out the talents that we had. Um, my sister is a natural-born singer. Um, she is really big into spirituality everybody that she touches in her life um, she has a very big heart she's very inspiring um, her gifts go miles and miles beyond what most people dream um, I'm fortunate I was born an artist um, I can draw I can paint um, I can sew I sat at the sewing machine with my grandma for years listening her to her talk about patience having patience and and knowing when the right time to do the right thing. She would always say when you sit down at the sewing machine don't be in any big hurry. Let your hands do the guiding of the material. Let your mind think where the stitches need to go and listen to your own thoughts. Look at what you were creating. And I like to take that principle and I like to apply it to a lot of things in my life and in any of my coaching classes that I offer. We try so hard to get on some level that sometimes we forget the plateau that we need to be on before we even get there. There are lessons, there are blessings, there are seasons, and there is timing. Everything in our life is an ebb and a flow. We have our high times, we have our down times, and it's the down times that we need to learn to ride out the storm write out the lull, write out the I don't know what I'm going to do next. People come in our lives and they either teach us a lesson or they come into our life to offer a valuable word, a message, something we're supposed to listen to. But how many times do you hear but you're really not listening? You hear all those words that the person is saying and most of us are like, yeah, okay, sure, whatever. But the smart person who really, really listens, takes those words and internally puts them in their heart and their soul. And they decide what they're going to do with that valuable lesson, what that valuable message means to them. I like to tell all my women, you know, you have gifts. You have these wonderful attributes that you are choosing not to use one, because you have hid behind your kids. Two, you've let some man run your life. Three, you're scared to death. What are you afraid of? You get one go around. You get one life. Who cares if anybody doesn't like you or nobody doesn't get you? You have a talent. Why are you not using it? 
Why are you not doing the side gig to the side hustle while you're still trying to go off and work and make a paycheck? If anybody knows about that, it is me. My hand is still in food and beverage because I like it. That is what I was taught from way back. It's like being in the mafia. You never get out. Once you have your, your hand in something because you know how to do it, you stay there because that's where your bread and butter is. But when you have a talent and you have a gift and you have something to offer to somebody else, you still go with the flow and you still try to offer your service to somebody else. I like to tell my women too, you know what, even if you don't know what direction you want to go in, doing something, anything, is better than not doing anything at all. I love to sew. I love to sell my art. I love to teach my painting classes. I love to speak. I like having an audience informing them the story and the journey that I've had to go through. You know, my mom died at the age of 31. Um, she was a victim of domestic abuse, and I loved my dad. Do not think that I did not. I loved my dad. He was a product of a poor alcoholic family. He learned traits from what he saw. And at that time, we lived in a time where what went on behind a closed door went on. In an evolved life, I was in an abusive relationship, and I shut down. I was sick. And once I was coming out and seeing everything for what it was, I was able to take that story, my story, and put it to good use. Not being afraid of saying, what happened. Not being afraid of saying, I have a talent. I have a gift. I have something to offer to somebody else. And maybe my words might mean something to somebody who is scared to death to leave the box that they're in. So today I'm just sitting here at my sewing machine. Um, I do my other job tomorrow night and then Wednesday for the 4th I'm working, which is fine. Then I work again Saturday night and in between I get to do the side hustle the side gig I still get to come and talk to all my people I'm offering life coaching classes business coaching classes let me show you how you can take that God-given talent and do something with it I offer painting lessons where we talk about perspective and how color affects all of our life I teach you about shapes and how we can look at things in a negative and in a positive and in the shadow and in the light and it's two hours of informed, creative fun. I teach Law of Attraction classes where I show you how you can bring all the good things into your life if you believe that those things can come to your life. So again, for those of you who don't know who I am, I am Kitra Marie. I am an artist. I am a writer. I am a photographer. I am a speaker. I'm a life and a business coach. Feel free to reach out. Send me an email at kitrenmarie at gmail.com. You can see all my work at kitrin-marie.weebly.com. Go over to Imperfections Made Beautiful Blogspot to see all of my case studies. I hope you are enjoying this day on July 2nd. It is a little steamy here in St. Louis, but that's okay. It is summertime. Don't blink. Uh, six months, it'll be Christmas, and we'll all be complaining about the cold weather. So enjoy your day. Be happy. Be blessed. Seasons and timing. Valuable lessons and messages that come to you from the words that you listen that somebody else has to say. So you take care and I'll see you real soon. Bye.